It is not that I am mad. It is only that my head is different from yours. Alexander the Great found the philosopher looking attentively at a pile of human bones. Diogenes explained, I am searching for the bones of your father, but cannot distinguish them from those of a slave. Of what use is a philosopher who doesn't hurt anybody's feelings? It is the privilege of the gods to want nothing, and of godlike men to want little. In a rich man's house, there is no place to spit but in his face. I am a citizen of the world. A philosopher named Aristippus, who had quite willingly sucked up to Dionysus and won himself a spot at his court, saw Diogenes cooking lentils for a meal. If you would only learn to compliment Dionysus, you wouldn't have to live on lentils. Diogenes replied, but if you would only learn to live on lentils, you wouldn't have to flatter Dionysus. The foundation of every state is the education of its youth. It takes a wise man to discover a wise man. Blushing is the color of virtue. I have nothing to ask but that you would remove to the other side, that you may not, by intercepting the sunshine, take from me what you cannot give. When someone reminded him that the people had sentenced him to exile, he said, and I sentenced them to stay at home. Dogs and philosophers do the greatest good and get the fewest rewards. The art of being a slave is to rule one's master. Poverty is a virtue which one can teach oneself. Once he saw the officials of a temple leading away someone who had stolen a bowl of belongings to the treasurers and said, the great thieves are leading away the little thief. To the one who asked what was the proper time for lunch, he said, if a rich man, when you will, if a poor man, when you can. No man is hurt by himself. When people laughed at him because he walked backwards beneath the portico, he said to them, Aren't you ashamed, you who walk backward along the whole path of existence and blame me for walking backward? along the path of the promenade. What I like to drink most is wine that belongs to others. The only way to gall and fret effectively is for yourself to be a good and honest man. Behold, I've brought you a man. And at last, becoming a complete misanthrope, he used to live spending his time walking about the mountains, 
feeding on grasses and plants. And in consequence of these habits, he was attacked by the dropsy, and so then he returned to the city and asked the physicians, in a riddle, whether they were able to produce a drought after wet weather. And as they did not understand him, he shut himself up in a stable for oxen and covered himself with cow dung, hoping to cause the wet to evaporate from him by the warmth that is produced. And as he did himself no good in this way, he died, having lived 70 years. I am Diogenes, the dog. I nuzzle the kind, bark at the greedy, and bite scoundrels. As a matter of self-preservation, a man needs good friends or ardent enemies, for the former instruct him and the latter take him to task. If I gained one thing from philosophy, it is that, at the very least, I am well prepared to confront any change in fortune. You are a simpleton, Hegesius. You do not choose painted figs, but real ones. And yet you pass over the true training and would apply yourself to written rules. The insult dishonors the one who infers it, not the one who receives it. He who has the most is content with the least. I pissed on the man who called me a dog. Why was he so surprised? If only it was as easy to banish hunger by rubbing the belly as it is to masturbate. We come into the world alone. We die alone. Why, in life, should we be any less alone? We have two ears and one tongue so that we would listen more and talk less. Fools. You think of God as a sentient being. God is the word used to represent a force. This force created nothing. It just helps things along. It does not answer prayers. Although it may make you think of a way to solve a problem, it has the power to influence you, but not decide for you. One original thought is worth a thousand mindless quotings. People who talk well, but do nothing, are like musical instruments. The sound is all they really have to offer. No man is hurt by himself, literally by how he interprets what happens to him. If he focuses on how it could have been better, he will be hurt. If he focuses on how it could have been worse, he will be happy. The same is true of women, too. The most beautiful thing in the world is freedom of speech. You will become a teacher of yourself when for the same things that you blame others, you also blame yourself. He lit a lamp in broad daylight and said, as he went about, I am looking for a human. To become self-educated, you should condemn yourself for all those things 
that you would criticize others. Why not whip the teacher when the pupil misbehaves? The mob is the mother of tyrants. Education gives sobriety to the young, comfort to the old, riches to the poor, and is an ornament to the rich. Even if I am but a pretender to wisdom, that in itself is philosophy. When I look upon seamen, men of science, and philosophers, man is the wisest of all beings. When I look upon priests and prophets, nothing is as contemptible as man. Self-taught poverty is a help towards philosophy, for the things which philosophy attempts to teach by reasoning, poverty forces us to practice. Other dogs bite only their enemies, whereas I bite also my friends in order to save them. Antithenes used to say that envious people were devoured by their own disposition, just as iron is by rust. Envy of others comes from comparing what they have with what the envious person has. Rather than the envious person realizing they have more than what they could have, and certainly more than some others, and being grateful. It is really just an inability to get a correct perspective on their lives. We are more curious about the meaning of dreams than about the things we see when awake. I do not know whether there are gods, but there ought to be. As houses, well stored with provisions, are likely to be full of mice, so the bodies of those who eat much are full of diseases. There is only a finger's difference between a wise man and a fool. We have complicated every simple gift of the gods. He once begged alms of a statue, and when asked why he did so, replied, to get practice in being refused. I am looking for an honest man. Discourse on virtue, and they pass by in droves. Whistle and dance the shimmy, and you've got an audience. Plato had defined man as an animal, biped and featherless, and was applauded. Diogenes plucked a fowl and brought it into the lecture room with the words, Behold, Plato's man. One day, observing a child drinking out of his hands, he cast away the cup from his wallet with the words, A child has beaten me in plainness of living. On being asked by someone how he could become famous, Diogenes responded, By worrying as little as possible about fame. The question was put to him, what hope is? And his answer was, the dream of a waking man. Love comes with hunger.
When two friends part, they should lock up each other's secrets and exchange keys. The true noble mind has no resentments.